Welcome back to the Navy Sports Magazine. Of course, it's February. That means baseball. Yes, we're not kidding. It means baseball. Spring sports already getting underway. And of course, here at the Naval Academy, the baseball team aspires to great heights each and every year with Jacob Williamson. And this time of year, because we're obviously a team located in the Mid-Atlantic along the East Coast, what is January and February practice like for you all getting set for your season here, which is getting ready to get underway? You know, it's a little bit different, uh, especially being up in the north. It's just a lot colder than it is in the south. So our practice times kind of vary uh, regarding weather. So we have to plan our practices around the weather versus other teams uh, in the south we may not have to have to do that. So it's a little bit difficult trying to uh, get out there and practice and understanding like, hey, we're actually going to have to play in this cold weather. Um, so that's kind of like a factor that we kind of determine into our practice schedules and in, in game time um, game time scenarios that we go through. So I was going to say, I mean, look, this is a game that's played outside. I mean, we sit in the indoor batting cage and you pitchers can throw inside mm -hmm. and, and all of that stuff. But obviously being outside in the elements is, is where you're going to have to play. I imagine it's a case of if there's no snow on the ground and the wind's not blowing 40 miles an hour, you guys try to get outside and at least do something outside when the weather allows you to? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're usually out there just about every day. Um, you know, rain, rain. Well, especially shine. this year because, I mean, obviously you all have a turf facility over there and we've had no snow. Yeah. So that's probably been a, a blessing for it, you guys. It has. And usually we might get a, some snowfalls here shortly. Um, you know, sometimes our, our games get canceled due to the snow. Uh, obviously we can't play, but. You know, we do the best we can with the weather that we're provided and uh, just kind of get out there and, and grind through it. You guys have a hell of a program. I mean, there's no doubt about it. I mean, uh, th this team aspires to win 30-plus games every year. Anything less than a Patriot League championship is is really unacceptable in, in your clubhouse. To to come into this program uh, and, and be able now to contribute uh, to the standard that they have set every year, what is, I don't know if pressure is the right word, but the opportunity – to you know, carry on the legacy that other players have had behind you. What is that like from a competitive standpoint to try and live up to that standard? Uh, I would say it's it's kind of like a standard that uh, you you kind of get accustomed to. You know, you go into this program and you see all the success that they've had and and over the years. So going into and just trying to understand like, hey, like we have to win uh, a championship this season, and that's kind of like the standard of of like what we strive to do. And um, you know, it's. Anything less than that, it kind of it dampers us a little bit, and, and it kind of hurts, um, you know, coming off of two losses, the Army and the championship. So uh, I would say, like, that, that standard is, is always there, and, and hopefully we can, we can provide that to the younger guys. You know, in college sports, when I mean, we look around the, uh, the business of college sports now, and it certainly conspires against, you know, the, the academies in some ways. But yet you and Army – uh, seemingly every year coming here banging heads in this thing at, at the end of the season. What is it about both teams uh, that has allowed them to have such consistent success in a sport which can be so humbling, as you know, every at-bat, every play in the field, uh, as a pitcher, you've been a pitcher too. I mean, what, what is it about this game which can be so humbling, yet both academies have really excelled at it here, mm -hmm. especially in the Patriot League? Well, I think both, both schools, they have an awesome coaching staff, so that, I think that's the number one key. And then the second is like we're both a military institution, so we, we kind of like learn to, you know, fight through the grit and, and just try to get to the next level with things. And then, you know, we're always there and, you know, it always comes down to like that one at bat or that one play in the field that determining like whether we win a championship or not. So uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I think that, you know, it's it's always nice to see like us in the championship between the two military academies and it sets us apart from the other schools. So it's always it's always really cool to see. Both teams have obviously graduated significant people. You all obviously graduate. Noah Song has been a, was a tremendous pitcher and a, a guy that you knew when he took the ball last year, you had a chance to win every time. Who are some of the people you know that you all will look to this year that either when they take the ball or where they're when they're in the box um, that will be those leaders to take the place of the guys now that have obviously moved on. Yeah. So on the pitching staff, we've had some guys uh, last year that showed some success. So, you know, Trey Braithway yeah. and and Jared Lines and, you know, Charlie Conley, those those are the guys that, you know, threw majority last year. And then we also have the guys like Tommy Goodrich um, and, you know, some other guys on the team that have, have provided us some innings uh, throughout the year. And they kind of uh, were actually like relying on them a lot this year um, after losing Noah Song. So uh, I think those are some of the guys we were kind of like leaning towards, um, hopefully, 
following the season? As an infielder, and obviously fielders in general, what is it like to work behind your pitchers? Because your pitchers, and obviously the staff here has done an amazing job through the years. We've had tremendous pitching staff mm -hmm. seemingly every year. But what is it like to work behind your guys? And as we know, with the you know, the theory goes, you want a guy that, that works quick. Most of your guys, for the most part, mm -hmm. do that. But what's it like to work behind a staff that you know is going to be pretty effective every time they get the ball? Yeah, so the, the key with the staff is, you know, pace, pace of play. You know, so if they're going in there and they're getting balls right away, like that keeps us, the infielders, on our toes. And that's what we like. We don't we don't really like waiting around or, you know, go, pitchers going deep into counts. And, you know, it, it's, it's kind of difficult to play like that. Um, but when, they, you know, there's a pace of play and, uh, it's always it's always easier to to win that way. So I think going into this year, hopefully those guys will have an understanding of pace and play, and and take that in effect of this season. All right. Now I know we can go to any store and we can get any kind of brand of water or anything that we want. What's it like down there at Jim Hunt? What's in the water down there? What's in the water in the convenience stores in North Carolina? Because, I mean, you, you, with the people that you know you've played with, uh, there's dudes that have gone on to play. Uh, in the NFL, I mean, you played five sports. Uh, what what is it in the water down there, man? That that makes seemingly everything or turns people into Superman down there from an athletic standpoint. Uh, I wouldn't say it, it turns everybody into Superman, but uh, you know, I I just think you, you know, growing up in the South, you kind of want to do just about anything and everything is possible. So you know, weather weather like permitting, uh, you know, go out there and play football with the boys or you know, go and shoot, shoot some basketball or whatever. So um, I think just going through high school and like as young kids, like just doing everything as much as possible is, it like makes you a better athlete. So getting well-rounded in that aspect and like being able to do as much as possible, I think that will teach you a lesson. And it, it doesn't matter what sport you play, it just teaches you a lesson, um, you know, of, of competing and the will to win. So is it cool to be able to go back home though when y'all see each other and, and, and compare notes on you know some some guys playing Division One football, some playing Division One baseball, uh, things of that nature? Is that kind of cool though to be able to come back yeah, to the community and, and and do that yeah, kind of thing? It's pretty neat. Uh, you know, I have some friends that are in the NFL right now, and it's just really cool to be like, hey, you know, you know, I was your quarterback, right? I'm still your favorite quarterback, so <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter who you play with. But uh, no, it's just pretty neat. You know, we always compare notes with baseball players. You know, we have guys. Uh, all throughout the country playing that I've played with. And it's just pretty cool to see just like from their, you know, their coaches and then how they kind of uh, turn the game on the whole baseball aspect. And then, you know, I, I put in some words from our coaches and like we kind of like, you know, jot down notes and understanding from both sides. It's not like, you know, baseball is just, you know, one concentrating coaching effort. It's like there's a bunch of spectrums of coaching, and it's kind of it's kind of neat to see the all, all the spectrums. Yeah, it's always great to have guys that are also good at it to be able to bounce yeah, stuff absolutely. back and forth. Great stuff. Best of luck with the start uh, of the baseball season coming up here for you and your teammates. All right, I appreciate it. All Thank right, you. Jacob Williamson joining us here on the Navy Sports Magazine.